I think one of the biggest myths is that there, there are no effective treatments. Now, we do have effective treatments, but they're not probably not as effective as people would like. They don't cure the disease, uh, but they do help temporarily, and they can keep people out of the nursing home for a year or more. And we're finding that uh, if we treat people very early, that we can have an impact. So I think that's probably one of the biggest myths I hear about. You know, probably one of the most gratifying studies I've been involved in has to do with detecting Alzheimer's very early. It always made sense to me that the brain doesn't all of a sudden get Alzheimer's disease, that this is something that begins very gradually and is a process. And in developing new brain scanning technologies, we found that definitely to be the case, that we can see very subtle evidence of Alzheimer's disease decades before people obviously have the disease. Now, that often scares people because they think, my God, I'm in my 40s or 50s and I've got the inklings of Alzheimer's. Isn't that terrible? I, I think it's cause for hope because it means that we will, in the future, be able to detect people at risk and work to protect a healthy brain rather than try to repair one once the damage sets in. A big challenge with Alzheimer's disease is that it's so subtle and gradual. And so how do you uh, differentiate it from normal aging? I get this question all the time, and it, it really comes down to the degree of the symptoms, because all of us complain about memory slips. It's very gradual in onset, uh, but at some point we say, oh, you've got Alzheimer's, you just don't have normal aging. And I think it's a, it's a question of degree. So, so that's a big challenge. But I think in the research we're doing that that may be something eventually that we aren't so concerned about because I think that we'll get to a stage where we'll have brain scans and blood tests and we'll do brain checks. So we'll deal with Alzheimer's disease the way we deal with high cholesterol. Well, you'll have a, some kind of a marker that'll tell you, you know, you're at high risk for Alzheimer's, so you should take this drug or vaccine. And so in the future, it'll lower your risk in the future. So that would be great because it would destigmatize the problem. Right now, a lot of people don't come in until very late because they're afraid of what they're going to find out. And, and I think it's really something that probably will affect us all if we live long enough. So it's important to try to deal with it now. I mean, if you look at the risk, if you look at the risk of Alzheimer's disease, it just keeps going up with age. And if you follow the statistics, by age 110, we might all have it. So uh, I don't think that's true because uh, I think that lifestyle is very important. It's not all biological or genetics, but there are probably things we can do to improve our brain health and lower our future risk for Alzheimer's.